How would you like to learn a really neat card trick? Welcome back to the Hat and Hair Academy, everyone. My name's Jonathan. Today, we're gonna learn a card trick. A fairly simple card trick, one that will make you look like a master card manipulator. And it's very, very easy. You'll enjoy it a lot. We're taking a break from coins and Jean Hugard's complete course in modern magic. Why? Because I want to. I'm tired of working with coins right now, uh, and I want to start focusing on some card work. So we're going to learn a card trick. It's called the Ambitious Card. Now, there are many different versions of this card trick, and what I'm going to show you today is the version that I do. It is by no means uh, the only version. There are uh, 100,000 different variations of this card trick, but this is the one that works for me, and hopefully it'll work well for you as well. To get started, this is basically what the card trick looks like. It's a very, very simple in-the-hands card trick. It uses audience participation, so you're going to have someone pick a card. We're going to have them pick this card the Four of Clubs, all right? So they're gonna pick the Four of Clubs and you're gonna say, excellent. Now what's really cool, is if we take that Four of Clubs and we place the Four of Clubs into the middle of the deck, right there, very, very plainly. All we need to do is just lift up on the back of the cards like that. What that does is that brings the Four of Clubs back to the top, okay? I'll show you again. If we take and place the Four of Clubs, again, into the middle of the deck, right there. Again, snap of the fingers, just lift up on the back of the cards like that, and the Four of Clubs jumps to the top. Now, I'll do that again, maybe under a little bit of test conditions, okay? I'll show you what that looks like. If we take the Four of Clubs, Four of Clubs, and we place it right there, so you can see, Four of Clubs goes into the deck there, which in turn goes into the deck there, it kind of goes into the middle of the middle deck. Watch closely. Again, all we do is just lift up on the back of the cards like that. What that does is that brings the four of clubs back to the top of the deck. Now, <clears throat> I'd like to show that to you one last time, but so you know that I'm not manipulating the cards, I'm going to put a bend, a very severe bend, into the four, okay? Very, very very, very tight bend, all right? So you can see the four right there, bent card, goes into the middle of the deck. Watch closely. And as you can see, there it is, right up on top. And that, my friends, is the ambitious card routine that I perform. So let me show you how to do that. It's actually a very easy card trick to do. What you need is a deck of cards. Any deck of cards will work. Uh, I'm using blue bicycles for this, okay? Um, work them in, make sure that it's, they're, they're uh, worked in so that they're easy to uh, manipulate. What you're gonna do is you're gonna have someone pick a card, any card, and you don't care. Any cards you want, they can pick. We're gonna use this one right here, uh, the Three of Diamonds. Now, while they're picking the card, you're gonna do the secret move, okay? I'm gonna set the three down. You're gonna do this. You're gonna take the top two cards and you're gonna turn them face up. But you don't show that to people, okay? So you're just gonna kinda do one of these, okay? And you hold those two facing you. When they give you the three back, you simply place that face up facing you, like I did right there, okay? So now what do you have? You have uh, a face down deck of cards with three face up cards on top, okay? You're going to get what's called a little finger break beneath the three face up cards, okay? What that allows you to do, so you can see there's my little finger break right there, okay? What that allows you to do is turn these three cards over as one, okay? So now their selected card is third from the top. You thumb off the top card, not the three, and you place that into the middle of the deck, like that. 
you push it all the way in, you lift up on the back of the cards, kind of like an elevator, you can explain to them. You just lift up on the back of the cards. What you're really doing is you're getting a little finger break between the top two cards, okay? You just lift up on the back of the cards, you keep that little finger break under the top two cards, you turn over the top two as one card. See, I've got two cards there, okay? Two face-up cards, all right? You turn the two over as one, look, it rose to the top. You turn them face down again, you say, I'll do that again for you. You take and you place not the three, not the chosen card, into the middle of the deck. You then again lift up on the back of the cards. And this time, you don't have to get a break because their card truly is on top, the three of diamonds, okay? You can hand that card to them and say, hey, check that out, make sure there's no tricks, uh, wires, hidden hinges, anything like that. It's a normal everyday playing card. Or you can just turn it face up on the deck like this. Now, the next move is kind of complicated. Not super complicated, but kind of complicated. You're gonna cut the cards in half, okay? And you're then going to drop two cards like that, okay? And then you're going to re-pick up those two cards. So now you have the face-up card on top of a bunch of face-down cards with two cards like that, okay? What that allows you to do is as you take this card, the top card, you thumb it off onto the lower portion of the deck, and as you turn it over using the cards and push it forward with your fingers, as you line up, you grab the bottom two cards from this hand so that they sit on top. So now again, their selected card is third from the top here, okay? But you don't show them that, okay? As you push that forward, you turn your hand over, showing this card. That allows you to very cleanly push this card all the way in and immediately turn your hand over and place that card into the middle of this deck. You can then take and place this deck into the middle of this deck. So now they think their card, it's not their card, is in the middle of the middle deck. You push that all the way in very cleanly. Their card second from the top here. You again lift up, breaking off. You do what's called a double lift. You turn two cards over as one, showing their card. The three in this case. This is the best part. This is the ending. This is the visible rise. You take those two cards face up and you say, I'd like to show you how to do this with a little bit of magic. You bend the cards, don't crease them, just get a very severe bend in the cards. You can see I've got them kind of doubled over on themselves. You give a good bend in there, and now you've bent two cards. They think you're only bending one. You've bent two cards, and you can show it. You break off, bottom of the deck, and you push down with your, your pointer finger, like that. And you thumb off, the top card, which isn't their card, FYI, in this case it's the ace, their card's on top here, okay? But you show them the bend in the card, right there. As you place this remaining on top, they can see the bent card going into the center of the deck. You grab with your thumb and your pointer finger or middle finger on either side, right at the bend, okay? This is the magic part. All you need to do is just let it pop up like that. Just release a little bit of pressure on your thumb and middle finger and it pops up. You can very openly then turn this over and show them their card. Now to take the bend out of the other card, you just simply show them all that. It reinforces the bend in this card and you can hand that out to them. And that is called the ambitious card routine. This is a card routine that I've been doing for years and years. Uh, it's a staple of my close-up routine. Uh, oftentimes, it's what I open up a table with when I'm opening with a card trick. It's got a distinct middle, uh, beginning, middle, and end, and is very easy to do. It's relatively no slights. A couple double lifts and a couple of add-ons. 
excuse me, and you're good to go. And you can borrow any deck of cards. It doesn't matter. So I hope you enjoy that. I hope you practice it. It's going to take a little bit of practice to get it down, but it's a very easy card trick to do, and it's a lot of fun to do, and it's amazing. It, the, when you see someone's eyes bug out of their head when they see that card just pop at the top of the deck, it's truly magical. Uh, so uh, I hope you enjoy it. If you do enjoy this video, be sure to leave a comment in the section below. Also, give it a thumbs up. That really helps me. And if you know someone that would like to learn magic along with us, be sure to send a link to this video and my others to them so that they can join the Hat and Hair Academy as well and learn some magic. Also, if you are on social media, such as Instagram or Twitter, you're in luck, so am I. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Hat and Hair or on Twitter at Hair Academy. Until next week, thanks for joining me here at the Hat and Hair Academy. I love you.